since the last time we did an update, I think it was about a week and a half ago, um, <clears throat> I tried to video why I was shooting a doe opening night of rifle season, which was November 18th. We came out again after that, but couldn't get a shot. It was, got too dark. We had a buck in front of us and it got too dark. But it is super windy, as you can hear. Um, it's been raining since yesterday. It finally moved out a little bit this afternoon, but the wind picked up real bad, so. It's pretty cold though, it's like 40. So, it's why it's last last opportunity, it's the last day of rifle, so. We're out here with the suppressed 6.5 Creed motor. Hopefully why I can get it done tonight. There's been a couple bucks in here, so. We'll see what happens. It's, uh, it's December 3rd. Uh, we're, hunting, we're hunting central Indiana. Alaska County, so hopefully tonight's the night for little man, so stay tuned. Cheeks. Oh, we got a rack in the oh, bro. He went down. Good shot, bro. Nice job, bro. Nice job. Dad, you made the bullet hit my face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Heck yeah. Good shot, bud. Good shot. Here, good look here. Look at all the deer running right here. Look at all the deer. Right there. I know. I don't even know if we've ever seen that deer before. It's a nice buck, bud. Yeah. You did so good. Yes, I should. That one's going on your wall, huh? Yeah. No. No. All right. Uh, we're losing daylight quick here, but it's the last uh, day of Indiana Rifle, and Wyatt just got his first buck, and he got a nice buck. I'm so proud of him. Kind of redemption to what happened on uh, Youth Weekend. He had a really nice eight point uh, right here behind the blind at 60 yards, but he just wasn't ready. So we practiced uh, almost two weeks ago. We went out and shot the 6.5 again, and uh, he made a good shot. And it was actually a long shot. And I, I said, why when the crosshairs are right over the top of his back, tell me when they're right in line with his shoulder. And he started squeezing. Boom, dropped him in his track. So we gotta go out and get take care of this deer and get some hero shots of Wyatt's first buck. So. We're pretty fired up though. You did so good, bud. Yeah. I'm proud of you. It was awesome. So, we're gonna go get, get this deer loaded up and get some pictures, so stay tuned. What you got there, buddy? Tell me all about it. Yeah. All right, biggest 10 more I was out there sitting with my dad. This bug came out from over there, and I shot it right through the worms there, and <laughs> Nice thing, I like the amount it and it's gonna go in my room. 
<laughs> it's gonna go in your room. And this is my first deer I ever seen, and I shot it, and th love you, Dad. <laughs> I love you too, bud. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. All right, we'll get some hero shots, and and uh, I'll just elaborate a little bit. We're both pretty excited, so uh, we shot him in the blind right over there, and uh, he come out over this hill, and we got the we had a bog pot set up for him, so he was nice and steady, and. Helped him center the gun, and um, he actually hit him high in the back and dropped him. So we had to do a follow-up yeah, shot. Dropped him on the track. Dropped him in his tracks. That's right. But we didn't want him to suffer, so put another one in him. And it's a nice ten point. Um, I'd say he's a three-year-old. Why? He's pretty heavy. So not real wide, but we've never seen this deer before. So he must have just got pushed in here during gun season. And um, yeah, just uh, awesome hunt, awesome time with my boy, and. We'll have many more to come, won't we, bud? Yep. So, we'll get some uh, hero shots real quick, and good thing, because my camera's almost dead, so. But, Outdoor X Media bringing you another one.